Yo, what's up guys, and today's tutorial is on how to install Spoutcraft. And for all of you who don't know, this is, this just, is, it's like a Minecraft launcher. It starts up Minecraft, it allows you to play Minecraft, allows you to do everything, except it has some improvements, like where you can have skins for cracked players, if you have Spoutcraft, you have capes, a lot of stuff to improve your playing on Minecraft, pretty much. You can also have the texture packs set to where you can uh, pretty much download a texture pack and have a certain plugin and no one else on the server has to download that texture pack. It's pretty much just the server's texture pack. But of course you need everyone to have Spoutcraft to be able to see the skins or the capes or whatever so if you're using this for your server then you have to have everyone to have it and there's plugins to make to pretty much force people to download it so most of you can use that so what you want to do is you want to click download here and click download again and This is the actual launcher you'll use. It looks like a plugin jar. So drag that to the desktop because this is what you're going to use to open Minecraft. Then go back. And then right under where it has Spoutcraft in bold, click Spout Plugin. This is what will connect Spoutcraft. So click Download and click Download again. So this is an actual plugin. And you're going to want to drag that to your plugins folder. Alright. So once you've dragged that, go ahead and restart your server. Alright, once your server is up, we'll double click Spoutcraft to open it up. Alright, it'll take a little to load, so we'll just wait. And as you can see here, it brings up just some nice pictures, and it it's very similar to the other Minecraft launcher. You'll type in your username, your password, the version, click latest if you want 1.3.2. And this is to where it says memory. That's to allocate more RAM or less RAM. So if you want no lag or less lag, you're going to allocate as much as RAM as you can. So I have like 4 gigabytes, I think. So I'm going to go with just one's fine. If you have 2 gigabytes on your computer, then just use one. If you have lower, then use lower than one. Alright, so type in your Minecraft name and then type in your password then click login it'll take a little while to download all those files that needs to download but just wait it out and I like to use Spoutcraft just cause it's cool all the plugins you can use with it and it's less laggy so let's see you have the texture pack selections you have the add-ons multiplayer single player options and options as you can see some new things here chat options you can fix all this the minimap options spoutcraft has a little minimap in the top right corner you can move it wherever you want you can make it smaller bigger you can change all of that and for less lag, I would click favor performance. So that's already clicked for me. And if you don't have really lag and you want to make your Minecraft experience look nice, then you might want to select all these to make them fancy. 
However, fancy creates more lag, so that's why I'm not going to do that. And you can change all of these settings. Alright. Let's go into a single player world. And just let it load. Alright. As the world's rendering, because it's our first time playing on this map, and I can already see how much better this actually looks and how much less laggy it is. Yeah. Alright. And with a mini map here, you can you can see mobs which is very helpful when you're playing by yourself and for the chat you can also even type colors so all your players who will have spoutcraft can type with colors see you don't have to s install any plugin for that and it also shows the coordinates under the mini map you can see negative 244 all those numbers So Spellcraft is pretty useful. Alright guys, if you have a plugin for Spellcraft that you don't know how to install too well, or any plugin, just comment below and subscribe. Thanks guys.